A 33-year-old man is in the grips of the police in Tafu in the Ashanti region after allegedly stabbing his girlfriend for attempting to break up with him. Neighbors in the Tafu Zongo community found the young, man, young woman bleeding profusely outside her room after her shouts for help. The victim, 22-year-old Deborah Asante, suffered stab wounds to her neck and back and was rushed to the Tafu Government Hospital. Join News Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin report a suspect is threatening she will, he will kill Deborah once he is released from custody. I told him I'm at liberty to decide for myself and that I no longer loved him. But he insisted no woman ever rejected him. Deborah Santi tells Clement Ansa that the intoxication affects him mentally. When he came to my room, he was drunk. I told him I couldn't continue the relationship if he does not stop drinking. But he warned me that if I discontinue the relationship, he would hurt me such that no man will ever find me beautiful again. Immediately, Clement tried to hit Deborah's head against a wall. She dodged, causing Clement's hand to hit the wall painfully. I threatened to call for his arrest if he continues to act inappropriately in my bedroom. Then I told him to leave the room because he does not stay there. You want me to leave the room? He questioned and I responded in the affirmative and that if he doesn't leave, I will call the police to arrest him. Just after Deborah handed over a phone charger to a friend in the house and went back to her room, Clement used a pair of scissors to stab her multiple times. Sister Kankani came to request for my phone charger to charge her phone. Immediately I went back to my room. He used my scissors to stab me multiple times. I rushed out of the room and fell awkwardly at a small distance, but he was still pursuing me. He stabbed me again. I kept running but fell down twice. He stabbed me in the chest and hands. He was about to stab me in the neck when a man came to rescue me and further admonished him to stop misbehaving. Clement has just had a relationship with Deborah for five months and all Deborah says it was a good start because Clement treated her with kindness. Deborah says she met Clement in Obuasi during the COVID-19 lockdown when she visited her family but refused his love proposal because of past experience in a relationship. Deborah, however, had to accept later because Clement promised to look after her well. I only got to know him when he came to this house. He used to participate in all the activities in the house. He was very calm when he came here and he wasn't drinking then. But all of a sudden, he started drinking. Just after Clement began drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana, his calmness and cooperative spirit, according to Deborah's friend, disappeared. This is an unimaginable time for young Deborah because Clement says he would kill her. He says even if he is sentenced to 20 years in prison, he would come and kill me because he killed someone before in his hometown. And his mother paid 80 million old Ghana cities and he was released.
Until he moved to Kumasi in the Ashanti region, Clement was a glamseya at Obuasi. A report by Mohammed Nuruddin.